Hello, and today I have an abstract drawing that I did in 2012. It took me about six weeks to complete, and I spent every day working on it. And so this is the final result of it. If you can see it, there's a reflection from light. But I did this one in California, and it took me about six weeks to do. And I worked on it about six hours every day. And at the time of working on this drawing, I was working at Michael's Art Store. And that's where I bought this frame for this. The paper and the markers that I used to draw this. And I actually have the drawing. It goes this way. And so there's all kinds of different animals and things that I've drawn in it. Um, it does have a bit of a fractal look to it. I have, I can show you up close, there's a dragon here, and then there's a, like a gecko over here with a face, and then there's down here, it's like a zebra's leg or something, and there's a fox up here, and it's hard to look at because I'm looking at it upside down. But there's a scorpion here. There's... Where was the fish? There was a tiger and there was a fish in this. i look at it from this way. And there's... Yeah, it's pretty... Um, it can be pretty confusing to look at because there's so many different animals and everything that I put in it. Um, yeah, the fox is up there. And then... Oh, here it is. Yeah. This is where the tiger is, and this matzo drew a small little fish. And when I was working on this drawing, I took it with me to work sometimes, and I'd work on it during break. And I used a micron pen for some of the lines, and I used a red and black Sharpie. Um, actually, it wasn't a Sharpie. It was, it was an off-brand type of marker, and I use that to fill everything in. And this is one of my bigger abstract drawings that I did. And I was going through some uh, issues at the time when I was living in California. And so I just worked on this to keep my mind off of everything and helped me a lot with that. And so I just kept working on it, working on it. When I, when I first started, I, I, um, when I was doing some of the lines, I was making it really detailed and had a lot of difficulty trying to get the the big tip of the marker to fill in those areas. And uh, it got pretty monotonous because I was you know, sitting there trying to use this huge um, marker to fill in these little tiny lines that the pen made. And so I, uh, there's a better view for you everyone. But um, yeah, there's a lot of things in it. There's, there's things now that I, I look at it and I'm still finding new things that, that are drawn in it. And yeah, there's the face, scorpion, uh, there's the lion's head, the fish, there's the dragon, and then there's like a zebra looking leg thing, and then I have, um, yeah. I've been asked before like what I'm thinking of when I draw, and a lot of times I'm not really sure. I just kind of, sometimes I'll think of things like what's going on in my life or what's going on during the day. But uh, when I draw these, I, I just, I'll put music on and I'll just relax and I'll think of different things and I'll um, just express myself in the artwork that I'm making. And so, yeah, I end up making, you know, really, it was a crazy and wild stuff like this. And so, the the frame that I got for this it was a it was a I bought it at um, when I worked there at Michaels and I was actually um, head of the one of the departments and it was the department where all the uh, pens and markers and all that was at and I remember when I was in charge they gave me this paper it was like called a planogram and I had to set up everything for that department, this whole aisle. And it was a paint section and there was just hundreds of different colors. And uh, 
like you know, there's hundreds of different reds and they all look exactly the same and so I had to go by the number of it to figure out what where they even go and man that was it got to be a, a pretty hectic day sometimes but um I liked working there it was it was enjoyable I mean I like the, the fact that I was into art a lot and so working at an art store you know it was it was pretty convenient because they'd have art sales sometimes and I I would you know, wait until something was on sale because I would know what's going to be on sale ahead of time because I could see the ad and so I just wait till then and I'd buy something and um, the micron pens and the markers that I used to draw this I bought on sale I've always been frugal always buy them when it's on sale and um, I remember I took this with me outside one day and I just wanted to get outside so I'm going to do some drawing and I had to put a whole bunch of my other sketchbooks in the side of it because it was really windy out that day. I took it out to this um, area to where it had like uh, these monkey bars and it was, it was an area for, for adults and, and for kids to uh, to play at and so there was like this big, the whole area had like a, the ground was sandy and I just set this on the picnic table there and uh, a couple of people came by and asked what I was drawing and they looked at it and they're like, like I don't know what's going on in your head when you when you draw this, but um, yeah, it was fun, it was some good times, and even though there's some bad things that happened at the time, I I did have some good enjoyable times back then, and yeah, I did this in 2012. It was a lot of work, and I really enjoyed doing it. And I remember just sitting there when I was a uh, sitting at the picnic table working on it and it was so windy out I was trying to hold the hold the paper down and I um I remember I was trying to do one of the lines up here and I just got so frustrated because I'd been working on it for so long and I, I just wanted to get it done and so that's why you'll notice that like one side of it the lines are, are a bit thicker and bigger whereas the other area is more detailed and when I started drawing I started in the center here and I kind of spiral out that way like that and so yeah, as you see here it's not as detailed but um yeah, it was fun I'm proud of myself for making this it's uh definitely a challenge I have I've done some other bigger um, abstract drawings but a lot of them are they're just one color black and white I just use ink and so when I did this I did old lines and did everything in black and then I had to go in on top of that and add all the red in it. And when I added the red, I would do red, black, red, black, red, black. So there's like a pattern in it as well on top of the abstract designs and everything that's in the drawing, you know, all the different animals. And you know, I'm still trying to discover and find all the hidden animals that are in this drawing. And um, so it was a good time and it was fun. But um, I've got some stories for everyone from back then when I lived there. And I'll discuss those in another time. But for now, I just wanted to show everybody this drawing. And thank you for watching. And if you got any questions about any type of drawing you'd like me to do, or you know, some story suggestions you'd like me to talk about, or any tips that you'd like to know about how I do my art, or how I've gotten to draw the way I do, just let me know. And I'll make a video on it, and um, thank you for watching, and hope you all have a good day. Thanks.